to this week's yoga. Find yourself a space, make sure you've cleared some furniture out of the way and you've got some comfy clothes on that you can move really well in. And we're going to start sitting like this today. So I'm sitting on my own feet, just sitting back on my heels. Can you sit like that? With your knees all the way together and a nice tall, long back. So today we're going to think about birds. Lots of different kinds of birds. Some birds that fly in the sky, which they all do, don't they? That's a silly thing to say. But some birds that we think of more in the water, maybe. So some birds like swimming too. We're going to begin just thinking about the bird's wings. Of course, we haven't got wings, but we can pretend our arms are wings. Could you lift one arm all the way up like it's a great big bird's wing? And then bring it back down. Imagine your feathers as you bring your arm up like a great big wing. We do that on the other side. Stretch your arm up. Imagine your beautiful feathers all the way, stretching to the ends of your fingers. And could you do both arms at the same time? Now we're going to come up on our knees and go high up on our knees. I'm not sitting on my feet anymore. And then bring both of my arms all the way up to the tops of my fingers. The backs of my hands come up and touch together and then come back down again. Do that one again. Lift all the way up to your higher knees and these great big wings come all the way back down. And so we can make that like a little pattern. So we're going to take one arm up and I want you to look at your feathers on that side. And then the other arm up, look at your feathers and bring your arm back down. And then the third time we're going to come up on our knees and bring both of our hands up and all the way back down so it's a lovely stretch one more time one arm and back down the other arm and back down and moving very slowly and carefully both arms at the same time can they both touch your legs at the same time so one doesn't race the other so sometimes a bird might sort of flutter its wing. Can you make your arm all soft? Like it comes out unfolding and the wing unfolds. Should we try that on the other side? Make your arm unfold. Great. So could we do that with both together? So we unfold our wings and then come back down to our arms bend and then stretch and then bend and they really look like wings don't they let's do our pattern again one and back down and the other and back down and then both at the same time draw your big wings overhead look at them and then bring them all the way back great flying we're going to bring ourselves up onto our feet Bring yourself up and stand and show me your big wide arms like wings, your feet planted on the floor, and big stretched out wings. And we're going to glide from side to side. So this, I think, is a bit like a seagull. When a seagull swoops from side to side, can you keep your feet still and just move your body and your arms and imagine you're soaring overhead really high in the sky with these big, wide, long wings. Maybe you could start to move your feet and swoop down like a seagull coming down to steal some food from someone. And they swoop all the way down and then come back soaring in the sky again. Move the other foot, take your big wide stride and swoop all the way down like you're trying to steal somebody's sandwich on the beach and come back and bring your feet together. One more time, a bit quicker. <sighs> take someone by surprise, keep those arms big and wide and take that on the other side. <sighs> All the way down and back up, big stretch. Can you go to 
your toes? Can you balance on your toes? Can you tiptoe around the room? Like you're going for a flying lesson. Maybe you're a baby bird who just learned to fly. And you go up on your toes very lightly and swoop and soar and find your way all around the space. You might go a bit faster. Swooping around. And then stay still. Oh, my arms are getting tired. Let's just give our arms a little bit of a shake because we were working our arms hard, keeping them in the air all that time. I saw a seagull the other day doing a really funny thing. The seagulls sometimes bang on the floor with their feet. They maybe they're trying to make the worms come up so they can eat them. Other birds do it too, but I've definitely seen seagulls do it. Could you put your arms around the back, like you've tucked your wings in like a seagull, so then around the back of you like this, and stamp your feet like little tiptoeing pattern on the floor. It's like you're trying to get the worms to come up, and then you can eat them up. <laughs> and then you have a look, and then see if you can bend down. You might see if you can keep your hands behind your back like little wings and bend all the way down here into a little squatting position like a little bird and then come back up and tiptoe again bash, 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 bash with your feet keep your arms behind your back and bend down all the way down can you balance on your toes let's see if we can stay balancing on our toes and open up our wings that might help us to balance what kind of bird are you now? Come up without putting your hands on the floor and flutter your feathers. Flutter your feathers. Great. Now we said at the beginning there are some birds that like being in the water. We're going to think about a bird that swims. And I'm going to think about this being a duck. Now ducks you can have these little fluttery wings if you bend your elbows and make a, a little flap, a flapping with your elbows. It's a bit like a chicken as well, isn't it? We're going to use this for our duck because we've got a little song about ducks, which you might know. So we're going to have our little flapping elbows when we are the mother duck. Flap our elbows. Ducks also waddle. Could you bend your knees and can you waddle or wiggle your bottom? Maybe you're going for a little swim. A little duck going for a swim. Wiggle your bottom as if you're going swimming along. So this is our mother duck flapping the wings and this is our little, little tiny ducks going for a swim, wiggling 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 great now you might know this little song you might have done this in nursery or in school before so it's about some ducks that go swimming let's see so three little ducks went swimming one day we're going to pretend we're the three ducks one, jump forward, two, three, over the pond and far away, Mother Duck said, quack, 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 you show me your quacking, quack, 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 but only two little ducks, show me two, one, step back, two, came swimming back. <gasps> One of them got lost. Two little ducks went swimming one day. Show me two. One, two. Over the pond and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. But only one little duck came swimming back. Oh no, we can't leave it like that. Let's see what happens next. One little duck 
went swimming one day. She ended up going for a swim over the pond and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. And how many came back? Three little ducks. One, two, three came, thank goodness, swimming back. I like that song. So mother duck, oh, she flaps her wings and she gets very cross and says, where have they gone? They've all disappeared. And the little baby ducks, oh, go for a little swim and you wiggle your bottom, you wiggle your knees. And you're the little baby ducks going for a little swim. You swim your arms. That's not how ducks swim, but maybe that's how we swim, isn't it? Swimming our arms. Now there's another beautiful creature that swims and flies, and that's a swan. And I have a special shape that I make to show a swan. So I'm going to come back down onto my mat or onto the floor and I'm going to put one of my knees forward and my other knee back. I'm going to stretch my back leg as much as I can and put my foot pointed out the back. I'm going to imagine that this shape is like a swan. And this is like the swan gliding along gracefully. You can sway a little bit from side to side. I'm sitting on one of my legs and the other leg is stretched out and that's almost like the body of a swan coming down and floating and then this is the whole big long neck of the swan and we're gliding along really gracefully and proud so I feel proud like a big beautiful proud white swan lifting its beak high swans do a funny thing sometimes Swans go upside down, they tip their head down into the water, maybe they're trying to find some fish or eat some of the pond weed, and they tip their head down, can you tip your head all the way down like the long neck, going into the water, and then press on your hands and lift it up and stretch out your tall neck, and do that again, this time try this, let your head go down and then your tail, I'm going to show my tail, with my foot, my tail pops up. And then I'm going to press on my fingers and come back up. My big long swan's neck comes up again. We do that one more time. All the way down with your head, but up with your foot. And then put it back the other way. Now when we do yoga, if we've done a stretchy position like this, then we need to make sure we do it on the other side as well. So I'm going to swap my legs. I'm going to turn myself around the other way so you can see it. Remember which leg was in front and see if you can put the other leg in front and stretch this one back. And remembering this is our long body and tail of our swan. I'll show that out the back. And then this is the long proud body and neck. Puff your chest out. Reach your beak up high with my beak. <laughs> Reach it up high. Make that beautiful long line of a swan. And then we're going to try tipping our head down like we're popping our head and our big long neck into the water. And we're going to come back up because they can't breathe underwater. They're not fish. They need to come back up for air. And then they're going to come back down and you're going to drop your big long swan's neck down and then flip your tail up and stretch that leg back out and lift up. Do you feel like a swan gliding along? Makes me feel very serene and proud like a swan. <laughs> I'm going to go one more time. Down you go, tuck your head in, drop that big long neck into the water and flip up your foot. And then come back and lift up your head and puff out your proud chest. Beautiful swans. So swans have those great big long wings, don't they, that we started with at the beginning. Great big proud wings when they fly. Great big bird to get off the ground. Takes quite a lot of effort. They're quite heavy, aren't they? 
So there's our swan. We've had two birds that like the water. There's another one that sort of paddles around in the water as well. And it's got very long legs. It doesn't live in this country. It lives places that are a little bit warmer and it's a bit pink, kind of pinky orange color. And I'm thinking of a flamingo. Now flamingos do a funny thing. They stand on one leg. I think they even go to sleep standing on one leg. They rest one leg by standing just on one at a time. So I'm going to put my hands behind my back like I folded my flamingo wings up behind me. And then I'm going to see if I can stand on one leg. Very carefully I'm going to put one of my feet just on my ankle of the other leg and I'm going to keep my wings tucked underneath here. I'm going to stand nice and tall and proud as if I've gone to sleep. I'm not going to close my eyes because that would be too hard. But I see if you can stand really, really still, like you're standing in some sticky mud, and that one foot's really stuck to the ground, and this other one is stuck to your leg. And you stand like a flamingo. Let's try that on the other side. Now stick this other foot right down into the mud, and I've got a long, straight, spindly flamingo leg. My hands are behind my back and this foot just going to balance here. <gasps> How good's your balance? Could you stay there? Good trick is to look at something and not move your eyes. If I look around the room, oh, I'm going to fall over. If I look very, very carefully at one small place in the room, I can balance here like that flamingo who doesn't move. He's just stuck his long leg into the mud and he's lifted the other one up to balance. Beautiful balancing. We can try a little bit higher with this leg. Maybe you can hold on to your foot and get it all the way up here. Could you balance then? We might need to have our flamingo wings wide to do that one, to help us to stay there. You've got to press your foot against your leg and see if you can really stand up tall. Your flamingo wings out to the side as you balance very, very carefully. And try not to move your eyes. But keep breathing, don't hold your breath. <laughs> we try that on the other side. Put your foot down and lift the other one up and see if you can get it right tall against your leg. If you're struggling you can always hold on to something. I've got something I could hold here. I'm going to hold on to that and then that will help me balance. Maybe try that. Get that leg up really high. See if you can stay there. Maybe let go. And still hold on. Let's try for one more count. <gasps> Beautiful balancing. Another bird shape that's going to balance. I'm going to imagine we are flying. I'm going to put my hands together in front of me to help me just to start. And then I'm going to imagine taking off. I'm going to swoop my arms out wide and my legs are going to lift off at the back. And I'm going to imagine I'm flying over the top of the treetops. Take your arms out to the side and lift your leg behind you and look down as if you're flying. Maybe you could have a go at swinging your arms around like you're flying. Can you still balance on one leg and imagine you're flying? Maybe your arms can come up and down, that's tricky. So we're really just like one of those great big seagulls or maybe a flamingo in flight. Because it's yoga, we've got to do it on the other side. I'm going to put my other foot down on the floor. I'm going to put my hands here, find my balance. And then I'm going to lift one foot off. And I'm going to take my big, wide wings to the side and see whether I can balance on one leg. Remember the looking at something trick. This time you might look at something on the floor and that will help you to stay. And you could imagine that the people look very small because you're so high up in the sky. If any of you have been on an aeroplane, you'll know what that feels like when you're up in the air and you look down and everything looks tiny, like a toy. 
must be like that for the birds, mustn't it? When they're really flying high over the top of everyone's houses, they just look like a little toy village beneath them. Beautiful balances. So we've done lots of balancing. We've got one more, which is a bit like a balance. We're gonna cross our feet. Can you still stand up with your feet crossed? I've got my toes on the floor with this foot and the other foot's still flat. And we call this an eagle pose. Our arms are going to cross as well. Can you get the backs of your hands to go together got my legs all twisted up. I'm going to twist up my arms so the backs of my hands come together. Maybe my elbows can cross and bring the backs of my hands together. And this is like the eagle's beak. You can tip forward and then stand up tall and then tip forward like this is the beak of the eagle. And then stand up tall. That one more time. Eagles are birds of prey, aren't they? So they might be looking to see what they might eat <laughs> from their perch. Perching, balancing up high in a tree. Let's try that on the other side. It's yoga. We've got to cross our feet the other way now. I'm going to put my toe down. I'm going to find my balance with my legs crossed. Then I'm going to cross my arms. Now the trick is to swap your arms as well. So I've swapped my legs. I'm going to swap my arms. And now I'm going to put one elbow on top of the other and the back of my hands together. And then I've got this beak. And I might just pop down, have a look below me from that tall branch that I'm perched on high in the tree. Perching. Can you still balance? It's tricky to balance with your legs crossed, isn't it? Lift it up and let your arms relax. And we're just going to bring our arms back up, big one, big swooping motion up and back down. Can we remember how we do our breathing in yoga? Oh, we go up, we're going to breathe in. And we go down, we're going to breathe out. <sighs> that one more time big swoop up with your big wings use your breath and then breathe out all the way out we're going to come back down onto the floor and back onto our knees and we're going to remember the very first thing we did let's see because it's good to do our little memory test isn't it what were our movements when we first started our class we had one arm and then it came back down. And then we had the other arm. And it came back down. And then we do both arms. And come back down. Let's do that unfolding wing. Bend your arm and then straighten your arm. And bring it back down. Bend your arm and then straighten your arm. Fluttery feathers. And then both hands coming up all the way up like wings so the backs of your hands come together and all the way back down like a graceful beautiful bird thank you for being birds today that was a calm class birds are very calm aren't they when they're swooping around and often they're very quiet so hopefully you're feeling nice and calm and quiet after your yoga class today. Look up in the sky next time you're outside and notice what different birds you see. And you might see some birds that are quite familiar that you see a lot of. There might be quite a lot of seagulls, but you might spot something that you've not seen before. And some birds are quite tiny so you've got to look very carefully in the bushes the wrens and sparrows and robins maybe you could make a list of all the different birds that you know and maybe you could watch how they move next time you are outside just watch how the birds move when they're pecking around and finding little insects and grubs in the grass 
and then the way that they fly in the sky and some of them have to flap their wings quite hard and some of them just glide and look like they're making no effort. Keep your eyes open and watch and copy. If you see something and you think, I want to be like that, have a go. And I shall see you again next week. Thank you.